Okay, one of the key decisions for home movie preservation in high definition is whether to use 24p or 1080i files. Each has a distinct advantage and has some disadvantages, so let's review uh, these in order to make the most informed decision. So let's start with 24p. What we call 24p is actually not 24 and not even p. It's actually 2398 PSF, partially segmented frames. It's the de facto standard for the film industry, or at least for those uh, that work primarily with film original. In 2398 PSF, images are recorded frame for frame without any cadence in the digital. And we'll talk a little bit more about cadence in 1080i. Basically, this means that one frame of film has a corresponding frame of digital. When film is shot at 24, it's a perfect match, and it's the hands-down choice for film uh, on digital medium. But for home movies, uh, which were most often shot at 18 frames per second, or in the case of older regular rates, some were done at 16 frames per second, uh, you don't have quite as perfect uh, matching. In order to use 2398 PSF, you've got to record 24 frames per second, or you can use multiples of 24, like you could do 6 or 12. That will create a master digital that has a frame-for-frame -frame relationship with your film. If you did 12, you'd have two frames of digital for every frame of film. After you scan your film, though, if you want the pictures to play back uh, in real time, you're going to have to slow them down. So you're going to master in 24, but before you play back the pictures, you're going to have to do something in order to slow down the speed of the images. Now, there are uh, different ways of doing this kind of slowing down. Uh, there are video programs today like QuickTime 7 uh, that ac can actually play um, the file properly at a slowed down speed or in the case of um, this footage going into uh, uh, production you're going to have to use uh, Final Cut for example to create those frames that are missing um, in a 24 frames timeline when you have an 18 frames original. So your master's whole frame, frame for frame, film to digital, just like everything in the movie industry, but you're going to have some post work to do in order to play it back at the correct speed. The advantage of this is you can use any professional tool uh, available in the film industry with your home movies. Secondly, uh, because you're scanning at 24, and not at the speed of 18, uh, you're going 25% faster on the scanner, so you get a sweet little deal of uh, a 25% savings on the cost of doing the transfer. Now the disadvantage is that you have that extra step in order to be able to play those files back uh, to an audience. So you're going to have to either use QuickTime 7 and slow it down uh, in the playback or uh, you're going to have to use Final Cut uh, to slow down the speed uh, if you want to do something like create a DVD or a Blu-ray or anything that's going to play at uh, real time. So, key advantage, uh, you're in the standard format of the motion picture industry. Uh, key and disadvantage, uh, you're going to have to do a little bit of work on your own in order to play the files at real time. So that, I'd say, highlights uh, what we talk about in terms of 24P.